professor and hello my fellow friend. My name is Petra. Today I'm very exciting to present you guys one topic which is about China agriculture. My presentation will be in four main points. The first of all, I will be talking about crop that Chinese grow. Secondly, I will be talking about the development of agriculture in China. Third, I will be talking about the importance of agriculture in China. And finally, we'll come with the conclusion. Before I begin my presentation, I want you guys to know what agriculture is. According to Cambridge Dictionary, agriculture is the science or the practice of farming that including cultivation of the soil for growing of crops and the rearing of animals to provide food, wool, and other kind of product. As we all know, in the world there are many different types of agriculture. Different types of agriculture come from other regions around the world. Do you know what some country economy depend on agriculture sector? For example, such as Cambodia. Cambodia is one of the countries that lay on the Southeast Asia. Even Cambodia uses all farming technique, but it's also known as a country that have a lot of people working on traditional agriculture, which call feed on stomach agriculture. It is kind of all traditional mainstay agriculture in Cambodia since the long time ago. But some people still following the old style of agriculture. If we take a look at the daily livelihood of some Cambodian in the countryside such as in Siem Reap, Po Sat, Bat Bong, Kampong Chenang and Kampong Thom province. Those province economic depend on agriculture. Still, the Cambodian economy nowadays also keep agriculture as a very important sector. In each year, tons of rice is exported from Cambodia to Europe. On the other hand, if we take a look at China, it is also one of the biggest country with agriculture sector. The China agriculture have provided work to employ over 300 million farmers. China agriculture began about 2500 BC with the classical millet agriculture. So what else that relate with agriculture will be presenting next with detail. The variety of crop that Chinese grow. Chinese grow different crops due to the difference of region, soils, and what is needed for the country to supply their citizens. The rice crop is the most important output crop that is grown in China. It is grown in the southern China, Yangtze River Valley, and Yunnan Plateau. Other crops such as wheat is grown is grow in every region in China. It has been a bit lower amount than the rice output. Corn is grown in province of northern China and southwestern China. Moreover, soybeans are grown in North, Northeast, uh, Northeast China, plant and sweet potato are grown widely in China but mostly grown nearby the Yangtze River Valley. Besides this, China also grow many cash crops that play a very important role in China agriculture to provide the country needs and also export. Those crops are cotton, peanut, sesame, sugar cane, tea, tobacco, mulberry, and fruit. Cotton is grown mainly along the Yellow River and nearby the Yangtze River. For peanut, are grown in Shandong, Guangdong, Guangxi, and Liaoning province. 
now I have talked about the crop that Chinese grow. So now let's move on to my second main point, which is the development of agriculture in China. Once the country is civilizing, there are always new methods to do agriculture. But in the past time, there are not enough technology to provide us a modern method to do anything yet. So China used traditional farming styles such as hunting and gathering since 11,000 years ago. Chinese begin their day by going into the forest and start hunting for wild animals to provide their family need. Then after that, there is one fisherman who tried to cultivate the first millet in northern China that is a very successful in farming. Then agriculture in China started to develop from day to day and from year to year. The farming revolution of China taking root since 12,000 years ago. In addition, for animal farming is begin between 13,000 to 10,000 years ago. Now I have talked about the development of agriculture in China, so now let's move to my next main point which is the importance of agriculture in China. Besides the merit and a very tiring hard work, there are important things that always keep motivating farmers to keep doing a great job. No matter how hot is the sun, the farmer still working so hard on their farming in order to bring the gold to their country citizen. Agriculture have pushed the China economy from the lowest in the past time to the highest today. The more exporting, the more money will come and help China to develop their country. Agriculture is not just help the economic growth, but it also provides jobs to millions of Chinese employees. So Chinese can work in their country and help develop their country. They don't need to work at other country. In agriculture sector, there are many job opportunity. Agriculture just provide food safety for China, it, but it also provide many work for Chinese. To sum up, I have talked about the first main point, which is crop that Chinese grow. The second main point is the develop of agriculture in China and third is the importance of agriculture in China. So if you have any question you can list down in the comment section below.